What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got my boy Dunlap coming to town. Right now we're number two in his top three schools he's trying to come to. It's Tennessee, it's us, and it's Auburn. He's trying to get some SEC love, but hopefully with this visit we can persuade him to come to our school because we do need some DB help. We need some defensive help this told to this all through and through. So maybe you're asking, well, how come we don't have more defensive players that you were recruiting? I went out the two middle linebackers. We were so far down the list. I don't think that we were going to get them, so I backed off of that. And when it comes to receivers, the top three receivers on our team, they're not going to be here next year. They're all seniors. So I figured let's focus on the offense for the in-season recruiting, get some more defense during the off-season recruiting. And I think Dunlap is going to be a solid four-star recruit that comes to us if he does. So we had to suspend our fullback. It's not a big deal. We hardly ever use the fullback in this offense. So hopefully, even though we have two guys suspended because they both got academic troubles, we will be a Okay, so our first game versus Illinois. That's right, the Battle of Illinois is here. In-state rivalry a brewing. So they already are they already down their starting quarterback. Miller is their backup quarterback. And yeah, he's showing it earlier and often. Second down and ten. Like I said, he's showing it early and often. That pass should have been caught by crap at the end of the day. It's an incompletion. So third down and ten. Looking downfield. Oh! INT, baby, my boy Craig Porter. Going back the other way with it. That pass was as ugly as you. As who? As you. First and 10 from the 26. Giving that thing to Harrison. And Harrison gets dropped in the backfield. Second down and two. Second down and 12, excuse me. After the two-yard loss. That pass going to be caught by Griffin. We pick up a fresh set of 10. And we're now we're in Illinois' red zone. And we ain't done. Inside the five we go. Another first down. Setting up first and go with the QB keeper on the option. Then we do use our fullback right here as a lead blocker, and he blocked nobody. So second down and go. Get yourself out the game fullback. We're going to do the speed option. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. And just like that, we take a seven, not a lead. Now what can our defense do? Our defense has been struggling. There has not been one game this season that our defense has not given up 50 or more points. 56 or more to be exact. That's a total of eight touchdowns per game. Okay, that's the average. I don't want the average to continue, but Illinois is already in our territory. Can the Panthers defense come up big? Michael Cox is there for the takedown. So it's third down in deuce. Can they pick up deuce? No, they cannot because they pick up much more. I thought he might have been out of bounds, but it's not like I can challenge in this game. So it's a first down nonetheless. From the 37, taking the shot deep and complete, making it hard for the fight in the lineup. They're going to go up that gut with Jones, and Jones picks up Nada. Third down and 11 from the 38. Miller looking downfield, letting that thing spin. is going to be caught by Kraft. Couple yards shy of the first down marker. So they have to set a full field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. I think that, me, that, that might be one of the few times this season that we've held a team to a field goal. I think that's the second time this season that we held a team to a field goal. I ain't lying to you. Walker makes the catch off the tip. Second down and fourth and six yard reception from the 35. Harrison getting busy. Look at the spin move. Look at the juke. And then he takes a mean hit at the 50 yard line, but it's eight okay. We're inside the line now territory. From the 49, it gets tipped and picked. Not a great decision. Okay, not a great decision, but I can see what's happening early and often. They are getting pressure like it's nothing. Up the middle, they're getting pressure. The left tackle getting beasted on. I mean, it's this. It's, it's ugly right now, but that's no excuse for throwing the football in the coverage. I know this. You know this. Let's just move on. Miller's going to find Kraft, who makes another reception, and that's going to be third down and six from the 45. Can they get six yards? Yes, they can in a pretty impressive way. Jacobs, not only does he make the catch, but he's able to drag a toe inbound. In between two DBs. Great pass. Great catch. We got to play a little bit better. Defense is sometimes great offense just beats great defense. They're going to run the ball with Jones. Jones, he picks up a first down. Three carries for 20 yards for Jones. Miller has a man open in the end zone. That's Jacobs. Touchdown, Illinois. And now it's 10 to 7. We are down in this one now. But can we come back? I believe we can. We've done it somewhat before. Second down and four. Should have pitched it. Hang on to it a little bit too long, and that's going to be third down and six. No, third down and six. Roll out. Could have ran it, 
But why not pass it to Benjamin? Let's get, get Benjamin warmed up. We know we're going to need him. He's the star player of the team, if you had to ask me. If you had to take a poll in my head. Oh, yeah. It's Benjamin. Looking downfield is Willis. Willis is going to find Griffin, who makes the catch move. Those chains with the offense like this, we are never out of the game. But we got to make sure we don't shoot ourselves in the foot. No blocking up front. I mean, it's getting hard to find these running lanes because the O-line is just struggling a tad bit. That pass batted away. I had time right there. They only rushed two guys. I had time by panic, okay? I'm getting hit every time. We roll out. Yeah, Benjamin, you might as well just stop running because that pass was nowhere near you. So first down and 10 from the 17, the Illini, they take over. That pass, well shot of the target. Second down and 10 from the 17. Out of the gun. They're going to hand that thing to Jones, and Jones is able to get out of there smoothly, unscathed. We were in there with the safety blitz. The timing was good, but the speed from my safety just wasn't there. But we're there again this time with Andy Jacobs, my middle linebacker. I don't make the tackle with them. No user skills to speak of. And that's going to lead to an Illini touchdown. So it's 17-7. to Now we're down by 10, running this option. Again, man, O-line is struggling. Maybe the old, maybe the, maybe the fighting line just have a beast of a D-line, beast of a front seven. This is a beast defense because we are struggling to say the least. Usually we can keep up toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow with teams. This time around, it doesn't look that way, but the game is still young, if you had to ask me. We're still down by 10. We just went three and out. What can we do? We, we can make a tackle with Jacobs, even though Jones picked up about six. So third down and four from the 36. That's what I'm talking about. Great play by the defense, but it's fourth down. They decide to go for it. Can we get off the field? Getting some pressures, Andy Jacobs. We finally get a sack from a linebacker or a defense alignment. All of our sacks have been at the nickelback position when I blitzed that corner. So, yeah. It's not a good look, but I'm going to take that sack. No need to complain. You should have caught that pass, Griffin. That's a bad look. Second down and 10 from the 43. Trying to run the end around. My left tackle didn't block the right guy. And my quarterback gets smashed. Left tackle's on his back again. We get hit again. That pass falls incomplete again. So first and 10 for the Illini over the middle. Miller throws it. That's going to be caught. For a gain of six from the 45, now it's second down and four. Can they pick up the four? They're going to pick up much more than four. As they find 84, Jacobs takes it all the way to the crib. And now we are down 24 to seven. Giving the ball to Jason Harrison. We might just have to get real past that because right now the running game isn't working. Second down in 11. And on second down in 11, that's going to be caught by Benjamin. And we're in Illinois territory. Can we put a drive together, put some more points on the board? Because it's really not that full. I mean, the lead isn't really, or the deficit, I should say, really isn't that big just yet. A score here, a stop, and another score. We right back in that thing, you hear me? But they get some pressure, and down we go. I said down we go. So they get the ball right back because we get no points. Porter, he makes a touchdown saving tackle. Okay, maybe not that extreme, but it was a good tackle that saved the first down. Miller looking downfield. That's going to be incomplete. Late. So it's third down and three from the 18. And look at my defense eat though. That's what I'm talking about. So now we have a minute 08 on the clock to still, to, just to cut the lead down to something. That pass was behind the tailback. Doesn't matter. They got pressure. I'm just glad my quarterback didn't get smacked. They only rushed two, but they spied two guys too. So we roll out. We throw it. The pass is incomplete. Third down and forever. Some more pressure. And just like that, we get the ball right back to the Illinois. You only show a punt for one reason. It's either a muff, a fumble, or a touchdown. He has the ball clearly secured. 40, 30, 20, 10. He's going to take it to the crib, high-stepping like he prime time. Returning kicks like another number four. I knew that he used to wear orange. For the Bears and for the U, Devin Hester. I know you knew it. I was just reminding you. Second down and nine. They called a timeout right there, right? So, actually, they didn't call a timeout right there. But we didn't have enough time to run out the clock. So, now they do call a timeout. 18 seconds on the clock. I run the ball again. I'm making wise decisions. He fumbled the football, though. I, I was running out the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, I was running out the clock, and we couldn't even successfully do that. It's 38-7. to 
as we start the second half. Looking downfield, that's going to be over the head of Griffin. He probably could try to make a play on the football, but he chose not to. Second down and 10. Looking downfield, that pass going to be caught. That dude dove on the ground. We got a chance. Griffin just made up for it. 30. 20, he's being caught by a linebacker, but not until he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois, and we're bringing the fight to the fight in the line now. Jones makes the catch, and the flat gets brought down by Craig Porter, and now it's going to be second down the fourth that they pick up, second down the sixth after they pick up four from the 45. That pass touches the grass, so here we go. Third down and six from the 45. Yard line, Miller from the gun who has time in the pocket, but it's going to be batted away, TG27. Tommy Grigsby with the bat away. Looking downfield is Willis. That's going to be caught by Benjamin. Benjamin is loose. Benjamin to the 40. Benjamin to the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. And we're going to go for two. It's way too early to go for two. And if you don't get it, the defense can get some momentum. And I feel like that's exactly what we gave them. Okay? I shouldn't have gone for two. I shouldn't have listened to the coach. But the coach is like technically me. So I wasn't going to listen to Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It was a bad decision, though. Anyways, Miller, he makes the catch, but he's going to get brought down by Wallace. And OJ Miller is hurt. So now they're going to be playing with their third-string quarterback. Things are looking up for us, okay? Back-to-back -back scores with no TD or field goal for the final line. Now they're playing with the third-string quarterback. Oh, it could be trouble. They need six. Weaver, look it. That's going to be caught by Kraft, but he did not get it. So fourth and one. QB draw, Andy Jacobs then laid the hammer. Thor's hammer. My goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Dang. So that's a big time play to get us the ball right back. What can we do with it? We got our tight end wide open and we throw it to the safety, bro. There was a window there and it just didn't work out for us, man. We had time in the pocket. I thought I set it up beautifully. I didn't though, we threw it right to the safety and the Illini get the football right back. What can Illinois do? They can do plenty as they run basically the same play that I did and it works for them. It doesn't work for us, but it works for them. Now they can go with the halfback pass and the halfback out there throwing dimes. He, the halfback was under pressure. He was rolling to his right and he throws a perfect pass. He got to be kidding me. That pass going to be incomplete. I mean, he did drop it, but he wasn't going to catch it in bounds. So second down and 10 from the 40, from the 14, I should say. That pass falls incomplete. So we're looking pretty good right here. Can we hold this team to a field goal? Just be down by 21. No, none of that. We get the user pick, bruh. Give me that Yahoo. Zay hurt. I said give me that Yahoo. Give me that user in a sense. We got this thing going back the other way. Give him the ball to Golden, who I do not expect to get brought down by a cornerback ever. Ever, but you did. Second down and two play fake under some more pressure. That pass hits the grass, man. Third down and two. Can we get something? Rolling out again. Throwing a perfect pass. Griffin makes the catch up to the 44 yard line. First and 10. Play fake. Doing it again. It's dropped. Benjamin had it. And I can't even be mad at Benjamin. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, okay? He is, sometimes is all we have. He He's human too, though. So he drops that one, but we come back, run the option, pick up a first down. Golden, back-to-back, -back, times on the ground for a back-to-back -back first downs via the ground game. Now from the 30-yard line. Look, we eating. We eating. And he fumbled. Okay, maybe I should have slid with him. But that's the first time he fumbled all year, and I ain't never slid with him so far this season. At least I don't think so. I probably did, just don't remember. Anyways, the line I have taken over. In Illinois, that should have been an interception. That, it should have been an interception, but my thumb just a little bit too tardy to the party. So first down and 10 from 37. Up that guy goes Weaver. Going to get brought down by Charlie. And now Ed Everett is hurt. He's our backup defensive end. So we got to use our third string defensive end because I just spent another guy for cheating on testing, copying homework. What's going on in this program, bruh? It's like Friday Night Lights. Without the chance of going to, like, the high school playoffs. Anyways, man. First and goal from the 8. Jones. He's going to take that thing all the way to the crib. Touchdown, Illinois. And now is, we are down 25 points. It's 45 to 20. Looking downfield, it gets it gets an interception. That's right. It gets, doesn't get interception. It gets intercepted via the interception. Anyways, first down and 10. Weaver 
I don't know why they, they, they uh, don't do that. Don't run no more QB draws because we shutting it down. Actually, run those QB draws because that's the only thing we can shut down. Jones takes it to the left side. Jones going to pick up a handful. So third down and three from the 23 wide receiver screen. But we're there. We're all over. We sniffed it out. So 41-yard field goal attempt is up, and it is good. So far, we have a chance to not allow more than 50 points for the first time this season. That's what we're playing for. I also want to try to come back. A fourth quarter comeback of this magnitude might impress that cornerback to come. You know what I'm saying? I need that cornerback that cornerback to come to our school, and maybe we can come back right here. And he'll be like, you know what? I think this program is going to be on the rise. I'm coming to this program. As of right now, he might just go to the SEC. Willis looking downfield. That's going to be caught by Benjamin. Or maybe he's like, this team is so trash, I'm going to come be a standout here and get drafted number one somewhere. Anyways, Willis rolling out. That pass going to be dropped. I mean, it happened. Second down and 10. Harrison gets hit in the backfield. That's been happening all game. What else is new? So it's third down. We are two for eight on third down. Can we be three for nine? Yes, we can. James Benjamin. Making the play for me, but it might be too little, too late. Looking downfield under some more pressure. Rolling out is Derek Willis. Finally throws that thing away. And now second down in 10. Looking downfield, almost to another pick. We're struggling to say the least. Another third down. That's going to be caught by James Benjamin first and goal inside the five. So from the one y'all, and we just need Uno and Golden living his life like it's golden as he gets into the end zone. 48 to 27. Jones on the direct snap. Weaving through traffic. Look at this. He, he, like, man, could we make a tackle before he picks up nine yards? Possibly not. Now he's even looser again. That's right, looser. Gets all the way into Eastern Illinois territory. The Panthers' defense continues to struggle, but can we stop him from getting over 50 points? That pass batted away. They know what time it is. Now they can run the ball with the fullback. Look at Jones, bruh. Acting like he might all stop taking it up that guy. First and 10 from the 18. Weaver. Lay it down, Weaver. Told you about them QB draws, bro. McGanty, McGanty, Machanty. He's going to be in there for the takedown. Charlie can't make the tackle. Jones weaving through traffic. My linebacker then gave up on the play. Yeah. Touchdown fighting the line now. 54 to 27 attack on the PAT. So 55 to 27 is the final. We take another L. I thought that we had a chance to beat this team. We got a pick to kick things off. We scored after the pick. But then after that, man, a line I, the, the final line I showed why they were in, like, the Big Ten and why we, like, are newly acquired Big Ten members because we probably ain't got no business being here just yet. But we did play hard, man. Got to figure out this offense. I'm trying not to run the same plays that I've ran in past dynasties and stuff like that. So I'm trying to stick with this one back offense, but I might have to add some shotgun to the foe. I, I, I might. I might have to. And look, the recruit decided to come. Four-star recruit, 6 for 175 pounds Dunlap he is coming to town he feels so bad for us that he's like no I'm gonna help y'all out and I don't think these big term receivers are so tough and he might be right I mean I don't know LSU they lost to prime me I figured I'd show you guys that prime me with the upset LSU was ranked number six prime me was unranked when they played that game so prime you shout outs to you I appreciate you guys rocking with me appreciate you guys watching hopefully things will turn around before year like five Ooh, you know we'll see Anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And tweet me again, my friends. Peace. Love.